Hello world and welcome to the Charlotte Comic Con in Concord, North Carolina. Now I know it's a little bit weird when you say that because one name says Charlotte but then I just said we're in Concord. That type of stuff happens all the time around here. People just like to use the Charlotte name, which is fine. But this is a really cool little Comic Con here that I like going to. I have a lot of fun here. There's going to be a lot of vendors, a lot of cosplay, and a lot of celebrities. So let's head on into the Embassy Suites here and check it out. I'm going to show you my experience to show you what it's like. So let's go on in and have some fun. Fun little fact here, I've always been on the nerdy side of things, but I've never actually done a convention until I went to this one about two or three years ago. And I have a lot of fun at this one. I think this is a really good starter convention if you've never been to one before. Now we're going to head on inside and try to find some stuff. And I usually like to go to these things with like a theme in my head, like for stuff that I'm looking for. And I think this time I'm going to look for Nintendo stuff. Because I just bought a Switch OLED the other day. And I've been having fun getting back into the Nintendo world, you know. We're at the desk here about to pay to get in and I just wanted to show the price. It's very affordable. Alright, this Comic Con starts out here. These are the next dates actually, April 2nd, 2023. That's not today's sign. So they actually have this, I think twice throughout the year. And this is April's convention date right here. But check this out, this spans all the way through the hallway and then they go into the convention center with more stuff. So we're gonna take a gander here and see what all they have. I like these stand-ups right here, but they're always a little expensive. Oh, there's a Bernie Sanders one. Huh. So I came over to the Charlotte Geeks table and met Wanda here, and she was loading me up with a lot of nice stuff from the Puss in Boots movie. My daughter loves Shrek, so I was gonna let her talk a little bit about her organization and what she does. So the Charlotte Geeks is a local social organization for geeky tech people. Um, we also have an event called the Muggles Market that's gonna be in February. We've done these for several years now. Lots of fun, there's lots of vendors there that sell handmade items. Also there'll be fan cars and food trucks and all kind of fun things going on. It's very family friendly, so bring the kids. And today at our table we have freebies for Puss in Boots movie. We have passes for the new Avatar movie if you'd like to go. That's an option. And we'd love to see you. All right. Well, thank you. I'll get a better close. I'll get a closer look at the card so people can get information on it. But thanks. Thank you so much. Here's a better look at that card she was holding. If you want to pause the video and look more into it, you're more than welcome to. But it is taking place in Charlotte. So I made it over to the Klingon Assault Group table, and I was kind of called out by this group at one point because I didn't put them on camera because they said I was too scared. So here's my proof video documentation so i'll let this dude talk about what they do here uh, well we're we're doing uh donations for the kwanzaa family women's shelter um we're trying to help them with their christmas um they have uh how many we have 20 women and 12 children and two on the way oh wow like that yeah so we're just trying to make sure that they have everything they need for christmas and and life in general all right uh, you know so doing the good work there i like it all right thank you thank you so I'm going to start like delving into the tables and things, but I wanted to first show you how big this place is. And I'm going to start all the way over here with Vision, and I'm going to loop around all the way. Like, this place is kind of big, you know, for a, a convention over here. So I just wanted to kind of give you the scope of things before I kind of get into it, into the meat and potatoes. So I had to make my way over to one of my favorite tables here. It's where I spend most of my money next to Pirate Waluigi. <laughs> They always have the coolest belts here, and I usually buy one every time I come because they're so cool. Oh my goodness. I'm trying not to buy one this year. So, remember how I said I was looking for Nintendo stuff? I just bought this, the Ninja Turtles Cowabunga Collection, on my Switch OLED. And it is really hard not to buy this belt. I think I'm going to do it. So I just realized that I failed to mention the company that I was talking about is named Baby Rabies. And they are a licensed lounge fly distributor. And they have belts here, like I said before. And this cool artwork right here. And some other things over there, but I love baby rabies. 
Now, I went through a Funko Pop stage, but I had never seen ones like this that come with the comic books behind them. It's kind of in like a tall box. See right there's a vision. It's got a comic book right there behind the figure. It's pretty cool. And so there are a lot of comic book vendors here. Hence the name, I guess. Comic convention, right? Found Santa Claus! <laughs> Over here stocking up on some last minute presents. Hard to find gifts, I'm telling you. Wow, I tell you, there are a lot of comics here. I feel like there's more comics than there were the last time I came to this, which isn't bad. I'm not complaining. It's just a lot of comics. It's kind of cool, actually. Stopped over here at Chasing Collectibles and found this Ecto-1. I absolutely love the Ghostbusters, so that would be really cool to have. Like, it's still in the box. The box looks good. It looks good in everything. Look at that old Captain America there. I don't know if that's actually old or if it's like a redo. Looks good. I think it's like a redo, but I might be wrong. I found me a toy merchant over here, toy vendor. I think they said their name was Needless Toys and Comics. But I saw a couple things here that caught my eye. I really like this Krampus thing. I think it's an action figure. Like when you look in the top, you see that? It's got like that packaging in there that makes me think it's like an action figure. That is really cool. I like Krampus. Kind of scary Christmas dude. And over there, they had a really nice toy here. Look how big that thing is right here. It's called the Hydra Stomper. I don't really know much about it in terms of comic book wise, but it looks pretty cool. It looks like an Iron Man suit. Found me another toy vendor here with some cool things. Now, these turtles right here, I used to have those, and my dad actually brought them up from my house the other day, and I got to give them to my daughter, and she has been loving playing with those things. Looks like they got a little bit of value to $15 for one of them. I think that's probably more than what I paid. And another thing is Stretch Armstrong. Y'all remember those? Their arms stretch into next week. But yeah, they have them here still in the packaging. $90, though. Definitely more than what we would have paid back in the day, but super cool. Now, I know for a fact I had this one right here, like the Astronaut Ninja Turtle. I think I had two or three of those. Check this out, GoBots. It looks like Doppem's Prime there, and I looked it up. And it looks like GoBots was an alternate universe from uh, Transformers. $250. These old toys are gaining some value, that's for sure. Because people like me want to relive what they used to do in their, in their younger years, right? I didn't have a GoBot, but I surely had a bunch of these Ninja Turtles. Check out all the LEGO characters. You can get lost in this. Like, the more you look, the more characters you find. Like, let's just look and try to find something. There's Buzz right there. Right there. Is that Jim Carrey's The Mask? Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. This guy here has some pretty interesting stuff. Like, check these toys out. Say hello to my little friend. $65 to say hello. And Dr. Doom up here. And I really like Big Frank. That is neat. It's from a Build a Frankenstein series. I've not heard of that yet, but apparently it's pretty popular because it's 270 bucks, 275 But what I really wanted was to get my wife this for Christmas, but I lost my debit card can't get money out of the Mac machine and I do not have cash. Definitely want to bring cash to things like this because most of the booths say cash only and I'm dealing with that mess right now. Check out all these GI Joes. Now these are worth a lot of money. I mean I don't know if these specific ones are but the old GI Joes are worth a lot of money. Oh wow check out this old looking Superman one. Comes with Lois Lane too. Yeah, G.I. Joe's, there's lots of money in that. My dad actually has a few of them at his house. Look how old that looks. Even Transformers here, too. They're also getting to be quite valuable. I really like this Turtles toy up there. It says Turtles in Disguise. And you also have Storm Shadow down here from uh, G.I. Joe. That's pretty cool. And then there's a Cobra Officer really nice condition toys here here's the first video game table I've seen Super Nintendo Nintendo DS Wii I just bought this game right here 
Link's Awakening. That's pretty cool. It's a remake of an old one. There's Dr. Mario. Oh, those were super cool. I love Dr. Mario, especially that one for the old brick Game Boy. Sega Genesis here. There's a Game Genie. When you were, like, legally allowed to cheat. It's kind of like pay-to-play is now. Wow. Stopped here at Frank's Cool Stuff. They're from Salem, Virginia. I'd love to go there one time. And they definitely have some cool stuff here. Got a lot of signatures here, but the one that I was really excited about was this one right here. Richard Keel, I think is how you say his name. He was the guy that played Jaws in James Bond. Was it The Spy Who Loved Me? I think that's what it is. I might be wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm right. Tell me in the comments something. Yes, and this is pretty cool, too. Shatner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the one from uh, Pop Century. And people say, but he's not wearing the... Uh Star Trek informs it. No, that's the one from, um, uh, is that Walsh or Boston Legal. Boston Legal is yes. where that picture's from? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he actually got an Emmy from Boston Legal. Wow. Yeah. And then they have of Daniel Radcliffe's him. signature here. Here's him from Star Trek. Oh, there's another one, yeah, from yeah. the, from Star Trek. 300. That is really neat. Going back to this, this is Daniel Ratcliffe right here, and it is authenticated. $900. And then what I really wanted to get, if I hadn't have already spent so much money in other things, is this Christopher Lloyd signature on the Flux Capacitor. It's also authenticated too, 275. That is a really neat piece right there. Is that Revan and Kylo Ren? Maybe they're original characters. I don't know, but they're cool. There goes a Loki variant right there, too. Another guilty pleasure of mine is Jaws. But if I keep buying stuff, I'm going to need a bigger boat. Now, I do not want to buy any more Funko Pops for the rest of my life, but how cool is this? It's a Holiday Stormtrooper Snowman. All these are Snowman. Darth Vader. R2-D2 Snowman. Boba Fett. And then over here, they have Gingerbread Hulk. That is pretty cool, you gotta admit. <laughs> Looking for the bathroom, is it this way? Is this the way? Okay, cool. <laughs> I know I'm showing a bunch of Funkos right now, but this is really cool. It's a Funko from like 30 years ago. Not really, it's a recreation, but it looks really cool. It's the Disneyland 65th anniversary, Peter Pan. Found a table called, or from Hazard Comics. They've got some awesome comics out here. But these are kind of special because the guy that made them is right here. Can you talk to us a little bit about it? Um, sure. It's a story that I actually started about 30 years ago. And of course, you know, life gets in the way. But now I've got the time. Um, so what I'm doing with the story is it starts out in New York. It's going to come back toward North Carolina and the Winston-Salem area so that I can use businesses as backdrop and friends. Um, but it's a pretty fun story. you got a character whose mother's from here. Earth, and he was born somewhere else, so he's half alien, half human. I thought you were going to say from here, like Concord, no, you said Earth. No, 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 no. <laughs> and um, it's basically he's got a blood feud with another alien race, and he's tracked back to Earth. Nice. And um, he's trying to deal with it here, but in the meantime, right now, he's having to deal with no one understanding him and why he's here, so we're having some fun with it. That's pretty cool. Well, thanks for letting us know what it's all about. And the stuff we've got over here is from Selfish. I'll give them a shout out since they can sit here at the table today. Oh, Selfish <laughs> helped you out on this, right? Yep. Cool. Well, thanks. All right, man. I appreciate you. I stopped over at a table here that's selling LARP gear, live action role play. Never really was into that, but the stuff looks pretty epic. This booth has some really cool artwork right here. I love my horror characters, so it's cool to see Jason right there jumping into the water. Check this out, though. They got a men's health issue for Deadpool, and it literally says, Grow back severed arm. Feel the tingle. What was that bear's name? Yogi Bear, yeah. As uh, Chewbacca. That is so cool. Well, and then there we got Rick and Morty from for Back to the Future. Really cool mashups here. Also have to get this Jetsons WandaVision mashup on camera right here. That is so funny. Here's a better look at the company's information right there if you ever want to check out any of those pictures. 
Just head on over. Ray's decals here has some cool cups on display right now. Zoom out so you can see it. Star Wars stuff up here, eight dollars. Jurassic Park for you Universal fans. Coasters down here. What do they call these now? Toothpick holders. Yeah, there's toothpick holders there. Really cool. These pint glasses are ten bucks. Found another Santa here. He's got a Captain America shirt on. I wonder if he's taking up a uh, that as a retirement gig because you know he's kind of old now. Captain America is. I bumped into Mackenzie from Stroh's Sinister Cinema, right? And I'd like to give her a moment to talk a little bit about what they do. Right, so Stroh's Sinister Cinema is part of Beer on Hero Productions. And the Stroh's is going to be a series where Papa Stroh, who is our warlock, he is trying to create his army by pulling a lot of the old school monsters off of the screen with his magic projector. Uh -oh. Unfortunately, his ex-girlfriend that he really made angry decided to tamper with that magic projector and the oh monster said, come on, not good. It's hilarious. That's going to be cool. Yes, and what so was the other one you, you told me about? Devil's so Daughter right here? We've also done The Devil's Daughter and that is a Harley Quinn fan film. Harley Quinn fan film. Mm -hmm. Harley Quinn, right? Harley Quinn, that is correct. It's a different cool. take on her as well. It's kind of more of a psychological aspect of what made Harley Quinn Harley Quinn. Cool. So definitely check it out. That you can watch for free on YouTube. Follow us on Be Your Own Hero Productions. And whenever Papa Stroh's gets or Stroh's Sinister Cinema gets their release, we'll be on there. Nice. And Thank here's you. a closer look at that information too. If you want to pause the video and check them out, you can. I think this is a celebrity section out here. Noah Salt. It's got some uh, Ninja Turtle characters on there. I think this is Jason Flowers. It says artwork. Michael Yuri, writer, editor pop culture historian. They even have Ma the maestro Rob Kellum down here at this table. Yeah. Bumped into this sketchy looking character here from the SCP Secure Contain Protect. Nice. That looks legit. Some Star Wars characters here. What's his character's name? I don't remember his. I know I got Maul Revan and your what? Your own character, nice. I like it. I just took a picture with him. I think I'm gonna use it as a thumbnail. Whoa, it's getting serious in here. What was that? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> that was me. I did it. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Show me the lightsaber here. What were you showing me earlier? Turn it off and back on. I want to see that thing ignite. Oh, yeah. Wow. So cool. Oh. <laughs> get, a, get a new uh, crystal for that, right? <laughs> I like it. Found the mean one himself. <laughs> Skin all green and his teeth all yellow. That is awesome. Yep, I think it's about time to head out, y'all. That was a lot of fun. I think that is going to do it for me. A lot of fun here. Especially for five bucks, you know? Like, spend five bucks, get to come in here, hang out with some fun people, look at some awesome vendors. I had a good time. There's also a cosplay contest, I think. And I'm not going to be able to make it this time, but let's go, see, go, bleh, let's go outside and see what I bought. Now I'm outside in the parking lot because I am finished with the convention, but I did want to show you what I bought at the, at the Charlotte Comic Con. I got my wife this. This was 15 bucks. I swear I wouldn't buy another Funko Pop, and I did. But this is uh, the 50th Disney World anniversary Minnie Mouse riding Prince Charming's, Re Prince Charming's Regal Carousel. Got it for 15 bucks. I didn't think that was a bad deal. It's a pretty cool Funko. And you know I have to stop at Baby Rabies and get me a belt. So I bought that Ninja Turtles belt. So that's all I got. So that is going to do it here at the Embassy Suites for the Charlotte Comic Con's winter event 
in, Sh in Concord, North Carolina. Y'all, I have such a good time there. The people here are so much fun. Like, super friendly people. I've made a lot of friends in here and got to see a lot of cool characters and things. Like, gosh, the cosplay was awesome. How about that Star Wars thing at the end where they're like spinning the lightsabers around and stuff? A lot of fun. And I mean, for five bucks, you can't go wrong with this. I had a really good time. So I want to say thank you all for watching and I uh, hope you all enjoyed the entire video. And thanks for playing. Bye. Tell you what, I got something else for you guys. It's free. Don't worry. It's a puzzle. I want a t-shirt.